Hey developers, how's it going? Uh, in this video, you'll learn about the algorithms and uh, what are the algorithms and uh, what is the type of algorithms. And uh, in this video, and also we're going to look at the searching and sorting algorithms. And okay, and uh, what is algorithms? Okay, and uh, algorithms is sequence of steps that doing some of the task or solving some of the problems. Okay, and imagine every time, every every time, whenever we are cooking, and whenever we are making tea, yes, you are doing, you are using algorithms. Each steps you are doing step by step, okay? And then you are, you can cook, and then you can make a tea. These are all algorithms, okay? In this video, we're gonna look at the searching and sorting algorithms, and which are the linear and binary search we have. And then you can see here, sorting algorithms, we have bubble, selection, insertion, bucket, merge, cook, and heap. And we're gonna look at each of them step by step. Also, you know, that in computer science, we have a lot of algorithms, such as recursive algorithms, divide and conquer algorithms, and grid algorithms, Yes, and dynamic programming algorithms. Yes, we have a lot of algorithms. And also, you know, in the machine learning algorithm, in the machine learning, we have another type of algorithms. Okay, and therefore, uh, in this video, we're gonna only look at the searching and sorting algorithms, what they are. Yes, and then, and we're gonna look at step by step each of them, and then we can deep in dive each of them. Okay, implement with implementation. Okay, uh, let's wanna see what is the linear search algorithm it looks like. And imagine I have a fun function which is the text, uh, the array and number and the job my function is to return true or false and whenever this number inside this array my function returns true if that uh, if this number is not exist inside the array uh, my function returns the false yes for implementing this we're going to use for loop yes we are just iterating every time and whenever uh, the items of this array is equal to numbers we are just return true else we're going to return false. This is a very simple example for linear search, okay? This is all about the linear search, okay? And for the linear search algorithms, time complexity will be uh, big O n, which is a linear, and the space complexity will be constant, okay? And because, you know, whenever we are searching this number from inside this array, we are not using extra memory, or we are not storing this array or double sum of the, we are not creating one of the array and we are not storing inside these arrays, okay? Instead, we are just iterating and we are just, every time we are just checking. Therefore, space complexity, which is this, okay? And the time will be this, okay? Time complexity, uh, which is a linear, uh, big, uh, big O n, and space complexity constant, big O one, okay? Okay, uh, what is the binary search? Uh, binary search is also known as a, a half interval half or as a logarithmic search, okay? It means every time, you know, uh, we are dividing our array by half and then we're gonna take the middle one and then we are comparing this target value, okay? And uh, imagine I have, a, for example, I'm going to search 23 from this array for this. And firstly, I'm gonna define the left and right value variables, okay? And which are, the, for example, the left one and is equal to, which is the always will zero. During runtime, we will update this one. But you know, the uh, right one, and just the right is equal to length, which is the array, and uh, minus one, okay? This is for a right one, and always we are taking a length of array, and then we are uh, just subtracting one, okay? And you know, and then we have uh, the third variable also, you know, here, for example, we just found the less than, left and right, yes? And then we need to find the middle one. Variable, you know, you know we need to find the middle one, okay? And therefore, uh, for doing this, I'm gonna use int function, you know, to taking the integer number, because every time we are, uh, you know, a left, plus right and by, divided by two. Every time we are dividing two, therefore we are just taking integers. And here one more parenthesis. Okay, two parentheses. okay? You can see here. In this case, you can see here the left one is zero and the right one is six. Length of our array is seven. Seven minus one is six, okay? And then we are just uh, adding zero plus six and we are just dividing two, which is the three. And which is the, this one, three, and this 11 is the middle of middle of number inside the array. And then we are just comparing uh, middle of uh, just 11, to, which is our target value. In this case, if the 11 is equal to, uh, to our target value, yes, and it is the middle one is equal to target value, we are just, uh, we are just return middle, middle number, okay? <clears throat> uh, if not, for example, uh, our uh, target value less than middle one, yes, in this case, we are just uh, updating the right one, which is to the middle, middle minus one. Okay, middle, uh, for example, here the three, yes, three minus, uh, three minus one, which is the two. It means whenever uh, we are, for example, that target data, yes, and the less than, this is the middle one, 
we're going to go to here. We are not going to look from, from, the, from the, this side. We're going to look at this side. Therefore, at the middle, minus 1, which is, the, is equal to right, which is this one, okay? Which is 2, which is, you know, 3 minus 1 is 2. And then we are just comparing with this, okay? In this case, you can see here that the 23 is greater than the middle one, okay? And for, for this kind of things, we are just updating the left one, which is the middle plus 1, okay? And it means plus 1 is to 4, we will go here. And the right one is always the 6, yes. And then we're going to take three, the middle one. And then we are comparing with middle to target. If this equal to this, we are just returning that value, okay? And this is all about the binary search, it's how it is, okay? And also, let's we're going to see what is the time and complexity. Uh, time complexity, you can see here, uh, we are just dividing our array half and half. Therefore, is logarithmic time complexity. You know, the time complexity, time comp, time complexity is the big O, big O logarithmic. Okay, you can see here, the time complexity is logarithmic, okay? Is uh, better than linear, okay? And therefore, binary search is better than linear search, faster, much faster than linear search, okay? And also, space complexity. Big O, one, uh, which is the constant time, okay? Constant, which is space complexity is constant, okay? And uh, this is uh, all about the binary search, how it is. And uh, let's switch to VS Code, and let's, we're gonna implement uh, in the code by using Python, okay? Let's do it. Okay, I was going to implement binary search algorithm. And firstly, I'm going to create a function, and dev, which is the B, BS, which is the binary search. Uh, it takes the array and also a number. And inside, I'm going to define two variables, as we spoke, which is the left is equal to zero. And also, we have a right is equal to length of array and the minus one, okay? And then I'm going to iterate using the while, while whenever left is less or equal to right, Okay, if like so, uh, we are just iterating, and then inside the first, I'm going to create the middle variable is equal to int, and inside the right and left, and plus plus is right. Okay, and then we are just divide by two, and also we're going to close one more parenthesis here, and like so. And after that, we're going to um, check using the if condition if, uh, which is the number is equal to which is the array and uh, middle which is the middle whenever a number is equal to middle one middle number we're going to return on the number itself and uh, else if all if and the uh, number is less than which is the middle number yes if like so uh, we're going to update the right uh, variable and which is the right is equal to middle minus one okay and uh, also else i'm going to write the uh, else and this is you know, uh, whenever a number a number is greater than middle number, uh, I'm just update the left variable is equal to uh, middle plus one, okay? And then, for example, whenever a number is not exist in our in our array, and uh, I'm gonna return the the, the message and uh, outside the while loop I return, and uh, which is the the number is not exist inside the array and like so okay let's save it and uh, firstly let's want to create the, the array and the array is equal to which is the array must be sorted whenever we are using binary search yes array must be sorted okay make sure it is and uh, which is the numbers and uh, and uh, as you can see here i created the array and then i'm going to call the, uh, the binary search function and then i'm going to print the in the terminal which is the print and i'm going to call the binary search and here i'm going to give the array array and also I need to give the number. Uh, let's going to search 89, this this one, okay? And here I'm going to search this variable and save it and open the terminal. And uh, let's going to write uh, Python and that be search.py. And as you can see here, uh, 89 is exists in our array. As you can, uh, for example, if I'm going to give 99, also return 99, or if I give them, which is the number is not exist in our array, it will return the message, the number is not exist inside array. And as you can see here, as a, this is a, how it is binary search algorithm it looks like in the code. Okay.